Tony and Troy, Abandoned Roller Rink Part 1, Season 2, Episode 6. Tony and Troy are going to the store to buy groceries with their dad. It's a beautiful morning. Yes, it is. I used to love passing by here every morning back in the day. It was such a great time. You pass by here every morning? Why, Dad? Let me show you. The car passes by a huge building. Look over there. See that? Years ago, that used to be an amazing roller rink. Well, now you can call it an abandoned roller rink. There used to be so many tournaments and contests here. People from all over the country came to compete here. Tony and Troy look at the old and abandoned roller rink. Everyone gets out of the car and heads towards it. So why is it closed? No one knows for sure, but I think some horrible accidents happened and they had no choice but to close it. It was such a disappointing time for the community. The place was home to so many amazing memories. Let's check it out! Everyone heads inside the abandoned roller rink. The place is dark and dusty. It had an old-fashioned feel to it. Look at the size of this place! It's massive! Yes, it is. I just wish I could go back to the old days and see everyone competing against each other. Back in the day, my friend Barry Briscoe used to win all the championships. Hey, I have an idea. How about we buy this place and reopen it, Dad? We could restart the contest and build a new place for the community to go. Actually, that isn't a bad idea. Wait a minute, let's check out the place first. Yeah, how about you go check out the locker rooms and I check out the main grounds. We'll meet in a few minutes, Dad. Okay. Tony goes to the locker room. It is old, dark, and dirty. Tony walks towards a huge switchboard to turn on the lights. The locker room lights up, and the room is full of dust and spider webs. The light suddenly starts flickering. Tony sees three shadows in the corner. Wait! Who's there? Come out! The two shadows suddenly put a bag over the third shadow's head and take the person away. Hey! What are you doing? Get back! Suddenly, the lights turn off. Tony goes back to the switchboard to try to turn on the lights. She turns the switch off and back on. The bulbs light up again, then suddenly explode. The room is completely dark again. I can't see anything. This place creeps me out. I have to get out of here. Tony starts to leave the locker room. Suddenly, a strong wind comes and shuts the door completely. Tony is terrified. Uh-oh. Tony looks around and sees a small window. She heads towards the window and escapes the locker room. She runs back to Dad and Troy. Hey, what took you so long? We've been waiting for you. This place is sketchy. I don't think we should reopen it, Troy. What do you mean? What happened? Well, I went to the locker room, and then there were some shadows. And then the lights went out. I think someone else was in there. Well... That can't be possible. It hasn't been open for years. It was very popular from the 1970s to year 2000. But you don't understand. I know what I saw. There was a door. And then the wind came and closed it. Oh, come on. You're just seeing things. It'll be all right. Let's just head back home for now. Troy tells Austin, Jason, Rick, and Kat about his father opening the abandoned roller rink. I think it's a great idea. We can all help with a grand opening. Yeah, if people don't come, we can kickstart the contest ourselves. That's awesome. I don't know about this, guys. The place really gives me the creeps. Once we clean everything up, it'll be perfect. All right. If you say so. 
Dad invests and finally buys the abandoned roller rink. Everyone helps out cleaning up the place from all the dust and rust. After many days of hard work, the rink is finally in tip-top condition. The locker rooms are all set up. The main grounds are all in perfect condition. The crowd seats are fully renovated. Everything looks fantastic. Dad visits the roller rink after a few days. This is amazing. Thanks, Dad. Now we just need to find some contestants and we can start with the tournaments. Well, we could have teams of two. Four contestants would be enough for the first tournament. We have six people here. We have three teams already. We just need one more team. But where do we find the last team? I know. We'll have a grand prize. Whoever wins gets a trophy and a cash prize $5,000. Yeah, that's a great idea. We'll put it out there in the news and people would be swarming in. Soon enough, the first roller skating competition was announced on the news. People were excited to see what it was all about. The first day was jam-packed and everyone couldn't wait for it to start. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the contestants of this year's skating championships. The first team is Tony and Troy. The second team is Rick and Kat. The third team is Austin and Jason. And the last team are the Briscoe Brothers. The crowd cheers for all four teams as they are very hyped for the tournament to start. All right, the first round is a warm-up. All four teams are going to go against each other. The race starts, and everyone is racing quite seriously. It's a tough battle, but Rick and Kat come out on top. The second place goes to Austin and Jason, then Tony and Troy, and finally, the Briscoe brothers finish last. Everyone shakes hands after the race. That settles it. We'll have our first race between the Briscoe brothers and the team of Rick and Cat. Before the race, everyone gets ready. Good luck, guys. We want to see you in the next round. Don't worry. We'll be there. We can take these guys. They finished last in the warm-up, too. I wouldn't worry too much about that, my friend. The warm-up win was just a fluke. This'll be the real race that decides everything. I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to meet earlier. I'm Tony. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jeff, and this is my brother Nick. We're the Briscoe Brothers. We've been skating since we were young kids. You guys stand no chance of winning. You seem really confident considering you finished last in the race. <laughs> oh, we'll beat you all right. We made sure of that. You just wait. We'll see. Easy, guys. It's just a friendly competition. Let's not get serious. Yeah, we shouldn't fight over who wins so much. Sorry, not sorry. Don't be such a jerk. Everyone get to your places. The race is about to start. Everyone rushes to their spots and gets their gear ready. All right, everyone. Three, two, one, go! Everyone begins skating. The Briscoe brothers take the lead and get ahead of Rick and Cat. They finally slow down and Rick and Cat get ahead of them. The finish line is near until suddenly Cat begins to slip on her skates. She grabs Rick and both slow down. They crash into the side. The Briscoe brothers get ahead of them and win the race. Shortly after the race is finished, they come over to Rick and Cat. Hey, what happened? Are you doing all right? Ugh, I think I really hurt my ankle. Why'd you slow down, Cat? Sorry, I was losing my grip and I thought I was about to fall. I think I'm all right, though. You guys should be careful, you know. Speed skating is dangerous if you mess up. Let's get you checked out. 
Kat is taken to the locker room, where a medical specialist takes a look at her leg. It's all right. It's just a sprained ankle. You will have to take a break from skating. Oh, well this blows. I guess we're disqualified then. Yeah, I guess so. Well, at least you two are safe now. That's what matters. Thanks. Good luck to you guys. The remaining matches would be held the next day. After the tournament is over, everyone helps to clean up all the mess. That's a wrap, guys. Tony and I will handle the rest. Thank you for helping out. Everyone heads outside to go home. Man, today was so much fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was awesome. Hey, I think I forgot something. You guys go ahead. I'll see you later. Jeff and Nick head back to the rink. Meanwhile, Tony and Troy are cleaning and getting ready for the next day. I sure am glad this idea worked, Tony. Yes, if we pull this off, this will become a successful business and great for the community. You're right. I'm sorry. I kind of doubted you about opening this roller rink. It's all right. Now, why don't you have a last look at the locker room area, and then we can go home. Sure. Tony heads to the locker room. She sees a pair of skates lying on the floor. Troy was right for me to check here. Let me just put these away. Wait, these belong to Kat. Tony picks up the skates and is about to put them in the locker. She notices a wheel that is damaged. Hmm, I'm sure Kat bought these recently. Like, two days ago. Why is her wheel broken? This is dangerous. She puts the skates back in Kat's locker and notices another open locker. As Tony moves towards the locker, she sees a sharp blade and hammer inside the locker. Wait, that's not supposed to be here. I think this was used to ruin Kat's skates. Wait a minute, whose locker is this? Uh-oh. Suddenly, someone comes up behind Tony, grabs her, and puts a bag over her head. She was close to figuring it out, but no one can ever know. Two shadowy silhouettes drag Tony out of the locker room and take her away. Meanwhile, Troy is done with all the preparation and is waiting for Tony at the main gate. Man, Tony is taking her sweet time. What's going on? Hey guys, have you seen Tony? No, we haven't. Clumsy Nick here just forgot something and we had to get it. What's up? Tony hasn't come back yet. I'm starting to get worried. Well, let's look for her then. The Briscoe brothers and Troy look everywhere for Tony, but she is not to be found. I don't know what to do now. Where do you think she went? If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe 